Hey guys, I have a constantly recurring question at the moment that I'm getting both on YouTube. I've got people messaging me on Telegram, emailing me, like all sorts of <laughs> different places. So I, I thought it would be easier to make a, a video on it to give a, a public response. And the question is, why does an OnlyFans content creator, why do they need a manager? Because of the videos that I made previously, some people just can't quite wrap their head around the fact that technically a girl is able to do this on their own. They're able to set up an OnlyFans, they're able to grow it on their own, uh, and they can't wrap their head around why they need a, a manager to get involved. So I'll literally go through it like point by point. The reason is because most people don't make any money on OnlyFans. That is like the, the number one reason. So I'm going to put up a screenshot now. This is a model that we started working with last week, 20th of May, I think it was. There's a period up here where it flatlines off. That was because we we <laughs> uploaded a, a threesome and OnlyFans temporarily blocked the account because it needed the guest in the uh, in the content to verify their their passport and there was like a 5 or 6 day delay so that flatlined because there was no money coming in we weren't actually able to take payments but this is a brand new model and from day one i think on day one she made about 300 dollars, and from there she's made about 500 dollars per day she'll pull in fifteen thousand dollars on her first month minimum and if you also look there so OnlyFans has a system i think most people know where it tells you what percentage of creators you're in she is in the top 3.9 percent of creators this is a brand new OnlyFans model just launched on OnlyFans in the top 3.9 percent of creators in, in in about a week of activity but she's only grossed about four thousand dollars three thousand nine hundred and seventy seven dollars but the net income is 3.1k so let's round it up we'll call it 3.2k she has only made three thousand two hundred dollars and to someone thinking that's a load of money it it's not but okay it's a it's an amount of money it's a relative amount of money but that is in the top four percent of creators for her to to earn that money so most people thinking that people are going to come onto OnlyFans and earn loads of money that means that 96 percent of people 96 percent of creators on the platform have earned less money than that and this is a brand new model she has no previous subscriptions no social proof literally just started and start started uh, launched the account and um already she's in the top four percent so I, I just think that most people aren't really aware of this. So when people are going around talking about hitting $30,000 per month, $60,000 per month, like 100K plus per month, it's 100% possible. I'm, I'm not taking away for, from that at all. I'm just saying it's not the case for everyone. As you can see by these statistics, it doesn't take very much to be in the top like 96% of creators on the on the site. And also I said there's a bit of a misconception that the manager has to be, be male or they have to go and work in a male OnlyFans agency. And I think that some people felt like it was men trying to get a hold on things, but there are actually a lot of uh, women who were content creators and they got themselves up into the top 0.1% pulling in 100k per month and it's hard work so they then get tired of, of being a creator themselves and they want to tone it down a little bit but they still want to maintain the, that type of income that the lifestyle that they've achieved for themselves so they will often go into a sort of mentorship agency type thing where they can very easily recruit girls because they have the track record of saying, I, I grew my account into the top 0.1%. I was making 100K per month, e even more even. And I know the formula, I know the strategies, and I can do this for you. So I actually see that with a lot of people as well. Because we work with a lot of OnlyFans agencies because of the Tinder and dating swiping click farm that, that we run, we work with a lot of different agencies. And a, a lot of them are actually female run now. It's becoming... Uh, like a bit of an increasing trend that some of these top creators actually move into starting their their own agency because they get bored of the actual or that they get tired of the sex work side of things and they want to move into um it's just a more scalable way of working so yeah it's not only male run agencies as well that was the other sort of misconception and just to go on to the point about making money is it's not the content creator is not capable of doing this on their own it's not that at all the fact is the content creator is the product. 
and they and you have to understand that you, you are selling yourself and i mean that in the most um i don't know delicate way the 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 content creator is is the product so they need to be fully focused on creating the product and in this case that means uh creating content marketing the content like taking pictures for instagram doing custom videos for only fans bear in mind when you have a few thousand subscribers the inbox is literally full with custom requests and the the let's just say the girl is pretty much occupied full day uh, yeah fulfilling the demands uh, of these guys that, that's, that's pretty much what the job is of course we like resell content wherever possible but there are a lot of custom requests for like for example they want the guy to say his name that the guy wants the model sorry the the guy the customer wants the model to say their name they want a custom video which requires input from the model there's no no way around it or they want a custom video that we haven't made before or there's also facetime sessions as well and it means that the the model the content creator is actually fully occupied if the page is of any size it is a large job it is a it's a busy day and there's so many different areas that are required if it's a large account just on only fans alone they're going to be so busy Le uh, responding to all the incoming messages creating custom content doing the facetime videos uploading daily content as well because you actually have to keep the account active anyway and that is before you even look into everything else that needs to, to sort of be done to sort of maximize the opportunity in terms of having 24 seven chatters, sexters who are like, we have a team of, of gay guys. And if you're wondering why they're gay, it's because they get sent a lot of dick pics all day. And I made the decision that generally gay people are going to be more open-minded and they're going to be less disturbed. I think this is the right word about some of the crazy um, fantasies and just being bombarded with non-stop dick pics all day. And the reason that I laugh is because it was me who <laughs> was doing this job before to actually understand what are like the requirements of like what is needed when we hire someone. So we've built out a, a sales team who, yeah, are basically going back to these guys all day and they need of course, managing as well. And then we also have a TikTok department, Tinder department, other dating platforms that we work on, the Instagram management. Like there are so many different areas to, to cover. And then you also have to look at like the legal and privacy side of things. For example, if content is being leaked, it is much is much better if if you have like an understanding of how to go about approaching it so we have direct contact with privacy lawyers who also step in in the the event that content of our models is leaked online not for any type of revenue protection it's actually just for like their own models security and, and and protection yeah and the model definitely can like just to add to this the model can a hundred percent go and do this by themselves as we see by the figures here i can pretty much guarantee you the, the majority of models who are in the bottom 96% compared to this new model that we have here don't have a manager. I can guarantee it 100%. And the not all of them, but I would pretty much guarantee as well that more than 50% of the models in the doing better than this model, bearing in mind this model has only been set up for seven days, and that they, they have a manager or they're part of, of an agency. And the other reason that like we can add to this as well is if you go on Reddit, for example, on, on some of the subreddits, like the, the models really stick together and they share all of their tips and insights as well. And you can go into some of these subreddit communities and you can find girls in there who are posting their like receipts, let, let's call it like their sort of motivation of like how well they've done. And a lot of them will be posting in there like I've been trying for weeks and I got my first subscriber today. I've been going on for months and I finally got five subscribers today. I finally did this. And what are they going to be making off that? Like a hundred dollars or five subscribers, like, and, and they're saying they've been doing this for months. So you can actually really get a, an understanding of, but basically they, they don't really know, know what they're doing. And I shouldn't laugh, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, to, to take months to bring in your first five subscribers in a day. Like we, we pulled in about 50 subscribers on, on day one for a new model. It's the purpose of being with a manager is that they literally just know the process. They can outline it for you. And would you rather make like for it just to be completely transparent, like our fee is like 50%. Um, we, we will take 50% of, of the money, uh, bearing in mind, we have to pay for five staff to cover 24 seven sales of the only fans as well plus the other marketing expenses creating the tinder accounts and so on and if ever a model is hesitant towards it i will just 
I, like the logical answer is like, would you rather 50% of $60,000 per month or a hundred percent of $3,000 per month or a hundred percent of $10,000 per month. And that's really pushing it. And just, you can do the math, not to mention like that if they were doing it on their own, they would have to handle all of the responsibilities and pay the salaries that we, we pay anyway. So the value that we deliver is really quite clear. And yeah, I, I just wanted to clear up the sort of misconception there because it, there is value delivered by the agencies. And I had, I just had some funny messages coming in of guys almost asking me like, how do you trick the girls the the models into into like signing a contract to it, like in into joining an agency when they can just do it themselves and i think it's just that guys just didn't really appreciate that we, we definitely do deliver value they will 100 percent make more money with us with giving us 50 percent than they do on their own multiples more so yeah i hope that gives like some reference like some insight hopefully it's a bit more clear than like my previous video because it was a recurring question so i think i obviously didn't explain it very well before um, and just to add to that as well I, I have girls reaching out to me asking to take over their OnlyFans profile and the management of their OnlyFans profile and this is actually how i originally got the um got the idea of it. It was because a girl that I was like talking with online, when I told her that I owned a marketing agency, she said she was doing OnlyFans and she wanted help with marketing. And that was like the light bulb moment for me when I saw that there's there's really an opportunity there. I literally have girls reaching out to me who have attempted to do it by themselves. And this is how we actually take on most models as well. And it's absolutely fine. In fact, it works even better when a model attempts to do it themselves first and they realize actually how hard it is. Then when they message me and say, would you partner with us and they see how quickly we're able to grow the OnlyFans accounts, there's never any question about the value that we're bringing to the table in that scenario because they've tried to do it themselves and, and it hasn't worked out. It, it didn't work out quite as well as, as they were expecting. So then when they reach out to us and we're able to solve that problem for them, they immediately see what we bring to the table. Whereas in some other scenarios, if a model has never done OnlyFans before and we're doing cold recruitment to bring a girl into our agency and she starts making $500 per day on day one, she they, they often start to believe that it's very easy because maybe we make it look easy, but it's not. We just know the roadmap and the right buttons to press to, to grow an OnlyFans account. And then it can be that they will start to question, why do I need to do this if I can do it on my own? And that's because they've never been, they, they've never actually had to attempt it themselves. We have had, uh, guided them and even launched the whole OnlyFans for them and just made it look easy. So it's actually much better for us when we have models who have already attempted OnlyFans and they've made a little bit of money. They made a few thousand dollars per month maybe, but they want to step up to the next level, but they weren't able to do it themselves. And then they come to us. They're the best type of, um, content creators for us to work with because yeah they just immediately see the the value that we bring to the table yeah other than that as well like I, the other question that we get quite a lot is about like the only fans earnings so now that we've straightened out the system a little bit more we will generally have a model between between 10 to 20k so we can put it as an average of about 15k in her first month and but that is significantly higher um the, than it was before it does come down to the model and how committed they are like you, we, you need a couple of hours per day uh from each like content creator to actually yeah basically to, to work with you and to to push things forward but after that like only fans just has such a compounding effect it is like a snowball effect where you literally just build up momentum and you can do 15k in the first month 40k the month after that and about 60k the month after that and then the the limiting factor you can we'll get the girl up to about 100k per month um but the limiting factor after that is going to be basically how hard like the model is able to work because when there are thousands of fans asking for content all the time bearing in mind like i i think the other thing people often forget is the content creator is a human right and if she, if it sounds so funny to say this on YouTube, but if they're being required to have 15, 20 orgasms per day, it's, it's quite demanding, which I, again, I guess leads back to 
my original point of why why I think a lot of the girls who get into the very high numbers actually end up not retiring, but let's say semi-retiring and going more into the mentorship and, and the OnlyFans agency route. Yeah. Anyway, I guess that's a, that's an, an update on how, how the OnlyFans business is going. Yeah. With that all being said, I'm getting a lot of girls asking if we're like taking on new models at the moment. So uh, you can reach out to me on Telegram and the answer is yes, we are like, we, we can definitely like review, review an application for it from anyone, particularly if you've tried before and you just need some help get, getting to the next level. If you're like sub five figures per month and, and you're looking to get up to the big numbers, we can definitely help. So yeah, feel free to, to reach out. Uh, other than that, we've got about 65 people in the OnlyFans group now. Um, in the OnlyFans course. People at various different stages, some people actually earning good money already, others getting contracts signed and onboarding models and others who are in a recruitment phase of the girls. Yeah, that's just a little update for me. Other than that, any questions, as always, feel free to yeah leave a comment and I'll be happy to help.